Hi, Kara here and welcome to my craft room. I've been on the uh, Start Your Stamps 2 site, which I joined, and a lot of wonderful techniques. And they had one stamp there, a damask stamp, and this isn't the exact one that they were using, but it is a uh, damask pattern and it is a stampability stamp. I looked around my stamps to get um, some background stamps and this caught my eye first so I thought I would use this and then I took my distress inks over here on the other side and lined them up in rainbow colors so it was the red orange yellow green um, light green dark green and uh, purple so um, that's all lined up there. I used uh, Festive Berry, Spice Marmalade, Mustard Seed, Mowed Lawn, Stormy Sky, Chip Sapphire, and Seedless Preserves. I took out from my stash two butterfly um, chipboard pieces. And then I took the Stampin' Up Thinlet Dies, Expressions Thinlet Dies, 132171 if you're interested in ordering these and they're quite large they're awesome and remember this cardstock that i got uh, on my haul video that i haven't put away yet <laughs> so um i used this and it's chipboard cardstock but it folded i thought it would be way too thick but it folded nicely as a card and uh, i mean it is thick but it's a nice consistency i like it especially for watercolor paper so i grabbed a piece cut it out and then I ran this through my Vagabond so that I had the pieces parts in order. I kept it inside there for when I put the card together. And you know me, I am not a one layer type card person. I like to layer and layer and layer and layer and until I run out of product. <laughs> and then I call it a card. <laughs> so this is new to me. And well, it's not new to me. Of course I do some, um, cards with only a couple layers but it doesn't come natural let me just say that so what I did was I took four distress uh, um, embossing powders and in the green and yellow and red and orange and I'm going to use this stamp with my Bursa mark and we'll start there because um, like I said this is not really you have to step out of the box if it's not your style or it's not what you're used to doing that's why I took this uh, online course I want to be able to step outside the box um, do different techniques and I'm doing this one on watercolor it isn't something I saw on the online class but it is something that was inspired by the online class if that makes sense so I've got the 140 pound um, watercolor paper that I taped on because I want a border so I put down some um, painters tape and I have it onto my clipboard and I'm ready to stamp this now because it is watercolor paper you're going to want to hold it on there just Press it on there for a bit. Let it seep into the. I don't want to into the cardstock. I don't want to miss any areas. So I'm really going to give it some pressure. And I was going to um, put my distress inks on my ranger mat, and then just uh, spritz it, and then put the card into it. But I thought, beings, I just got these distress, you know, distress uh, powders, and I haven't used the ones I had. I'm going to take out some, and I'm going to use them, because that's why we buy the products, right? Okay, so I think that's on there. Let's see. We will see in a minute. I don't know. It's hard to get that. Um, trying to see if it came off there. I will know once I put the um, so I'm gonna once I put the embossing powders down. So I'm going to start with the um, let me get a I'm gonna start with the red. There's the distress 
um, it's the distress powder so we'll see how that works it looks like not a lot came off I'm kind of hoping that's not the case but let's turn this around and let's take the lid off I think it comes out faster when the lids off <laughs> call me crazy all right so let's put that up in here and let's just do the corner of this for now and oh yes looking good then we'll grab a brush and take some of it off so it doesn't uh, I should have went over it with my um, powder but I didn't so I'm gonna have to be a little careful here once you don't do it you don't do it so you've got to suffer with the consequences of having to this really sticks too so you want to be careful there okay so I have a bit of it there and I'm not this is not to get a detailed image you're not going to get a detailed with distressing distress and boss power I don't think we'll see it has these silver little flecks in there I really like it I like it a lot so it's a hot day here in Niagara it's humid but my air conditioner is pumping in here and we'll see what happens so let me get out my brand new Ranger look at that is that crazy oh it is so quiet I'm not used to this I don't want to do too much because I'll wreck my the image there but oh I just think that's wonderful when you don't have to talk over and it lets out a nice amount of heat I can feel it so let's just see how quickly it melts here I don't want to take it away and then the Embossing powder hasn't melted. So let's see what happens here. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put down. Okay, I have to look at it here in the light, going a different way. I haven't practiced, so. see what happens there we are isn't that quiet oh I give it a three thumbs up on this amazing <laughs> and so is this one and so is this one just so you know but the Ranger has it down for quiet okay so then I'm going to grab the orange here, get the lid off, oh my, okay, since I broke my wrist it's hard to, not as muscular as I used to be, okay, muscular, strong, that's funny. So let's go over to this side and I'm going to add some right there, no rhyme nor reason on how I am doing it, I just want it to be Oh, you can't see that. I just let me flick that out. The next time, if you're gonna do this technique, use your powder, your bossing buddy, or whatever it is you have to do that. It will work out much better. That looks good. What a nice embossing powder that is. I'm going to take that off, so I think I'll just leave it like that. And like I said, I just want a background embossed image, not detailed, kind of like shabby chic type thing. And I love these powders. Why didn't I get these out sooner? Yowzer, pretty, pretty. I think I'm going to do it all at once. I'm going to grab the yellow 
here. There we are, and let's grab yellow up in. I'll go down here with the yellow. There we are. And we'll see how this turns out. I'm just going to have a craft day. It's our civic holiday today. So um, it's a wonderful day to just craft. Any day is a wonderful day to craft, isn't it? And Tink, if you're watching this, this card's for you, my friend. She is such over on Catherine Pooler's wonderful site, Stamp Nation. So many wonderful people over there. I encourage you to go over and join. I mean, you'll, you'll not regret it. You learn so much over there. It's crazy. Okay, so Catherine. Catherine has a new book out, everybody. You have to go and check that out. You will love it. If you want to... It doesn't matter whether you're a first-time stamper or you are versed in years of experience. That book is awesome. I've gone through it. I love it. So, let's see if anything comes off of that section. I don't think so. This is pretty. Look at that pretty green. I know it's the last thing you want to hear somebody blowing on a card here, but I do want it to. That is pretty. What a pretty, pretty background. Can I say pretty enough? Did I say pretty? It is really pretty. <laughs> ah. Oh yeah, it's going to be one crazy day. And I am looking forward to it. Come on, let's get our craft rooms yucky. I don't want to be the only one that has to put everything away and make a mess in my craft room. Come on. Let's get messy here. All right, let me get my noise proof. I'm going to move these over so that, that this one is right. Look at that. This is an amazing tool. I am promoting it. I love it. And when I first saw this, this is what's, I'm just going to add some two cents in here. When I first started crafting, this was out. This was a new product then. And I thought it was a blow dryer for your hair. And it had that blow dryer look for your hair. And I thought, that doesn't look like a heat tool. It looks like a blow dryer. I'm not getting that. But I wasn't making videos back then. And, um, you know... So I went and got the Marvy, and I love it. It is Marvy-less. It is. It's, it, it heats instantly. It's really hot, so you get instant melting. And it was wonderful. And then I became a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and of course I had to get the, um, the Stampin' Up! heat tool. And that's wonderful because it has two settings. And then I had to get this for my video so that I could talk over it because I haven't learned the skill of um, editing yet. Although I do have Movie Maker uploaded, downloaded, whatever, and I'm going to have to do that because the process time, like already I have used half of my time and all we did was emboss. And I think it's harder to emboss on uh, watercolor paper. I don't know. Like, as far as getting it to melt as I'm doing this. And I've never used the Distress... Um, powder, so... Isn't that funny how I think I stop in midstream and just start thinking about stuff. This is nice. I just don't want to start using my inks and then all of my powder comes off. I'm going to lay it right over top here and see how that goes. It's probably been dry. I'm probably burning it. 
I just want to distress. They're not, it's not shiny uh, like a normal embossing powder is. So, I guess I, I got to stop before it uh, goes up in flames, eh? Some of it seems like it's set, and some of it doesn't, but... Let's see, and let it take it off. I'm going to test. Oh yes, oh yes, I think it's good. Now, I'm going to shut this off, and just out of curiosity's sake, I am going to put my this Marvy on there and just see if it makes a difference. If it doesn't, then bonus. I am so used to this one being so hot, but it's not changing anything at all. So see, look at it looks identical. So I'm sold on that Ranger. Yep. Look at nothing is changing. Nada. Let me see. No. It's all the same. I think I'm just burning the paper actually. So that is wonderful. Okay. You have to test those things out. Look at that. Can I just give you a close up of that beautiful distressed look? Now what I'm going to do is. I'm going to take this and set it aside somewhere in this uh, menagerie of everything all over. And you know I don't like to work with everything all over. I'm not comfortable with it. I like to put things away, but not today. I am turning a new leaf. I am going to work in, uh, in mess can't think of a nice polite word. It's just a mess. I'm going to work in that. As long as everything's around me and I can see it, I'm good. All right, so we want to make a card today, right? So let's get moving on here. There we are. Now, card. Now I will, I have my card and I am going to I think I'm going to have to take it off of here, actually, and forget the um, the lines. I think I'm going to have to cut it. Sorry, because I want it to go into the distress ink. So um, that's not going to mean anything to have it on there. You're not... <laughs> If you go onto my video and then you go and you do the online class, I'm nothing like theirs. Theirs is so wonderful, like just teaching, teaching, and they're not blabbering on like I do. So, um, anywho, I want to get this with some of the distress things. And no, I did not go. I'm going to take these out. I no longer want them in there. I think they're going to dry up my... So there you have some festive berries um, I think it hold I had all of these had the little that one doesn't I was gonna buy the little ones I was at the store and I thought okay just get them all but you know what I just couldn't see doing it when you have all of this stress inks the large ones why on earth would you buy them again I know they fit in small spaces but I couldn't bring myself to do it. This is the mustard seed. I have them on there like that. And so I like to have it put back the way they were. <laughs> uh, will I ever change as far as that? I don't know. I can handle a bit of mess, but I guess I can't handle. All right, I'm going in the order of... I had to memorize that. I didn't even know what the order of the beautiful rainbow God said in the sky. Didn't know the colors. And they said it's Roy G. Um, Roy G. Violet. Um, Inigo. Vib. 
and or Vic. This is I don't know. Anyway, see I can't even remember the short form. <laughs> uh, okay, where was I? I was on the deep blue here. What was that? It is red, orange, yellow, which is Roy G B Inigo Violet. So it's Biv. Biv. Okay. Let's try that. And then um, I'm slowing my process down here. I think I'm going to put my camcorder in and try that next. And then I'm going to just, I mean the card is not this big, but I am going to use it for another card here. So let's get that. And let's mist it with my dollar store mister. Look at that. Look at those beautiful beads of color. Yowza, I love it. There. And then I have seven minutes to make this card. So let's determine what's up in the damask, what's down. Oh, that's beautiful. It even has a raised. Oh, I love these. You have to get some. The Distress Powders. Okay. Where do I want it? Right like this, because I will get everything. And you know what I'm going to do? I know. Call me a sissy. I don't want my hands full of ink. So I'm going to do this with gloves on. I know. I get my Vim out and it'll all be gone, but I'm not doing it. I'm going to have gloves on for this. So here we go. This is totally awesome. Let's raise that up. Oh, I love it. Okay, I got to set that right there. I want it just like this. Maybe, no. I am going to heat set that, but I want another card being in here. I am going to grab just this card right here. Okay. Um, I'll make these two card fronts. I'm not. I'm not going to waste. This will be just a card front on here. Yes. One there. Isn't that awesome? Let's bring that down. Let's grab some blue up there. Love that. Let's gather it up. Beautiful. Then I'll finish the rest right there. Isn't this gorgeous? Okay, let's go. And there. So I have two card fronts that will sit and dry right there. Now let's get our card made. Get that pulled up there and let's get out my new heat it tool and heat that five minutes come on love this front then this is going to go on my craft card let's just grab some paper towel here there we are. That looks really nice. Okay. Then I am going to take some. Is that dry? Reasonably dry? No. Okay, quickly. I am going to take some of my purple here. And let's get one of my distress tools here. That's green. Uh, right here. And I'm just going to add some color to the edges here. So there is the purple, the seedless preserves. Then I'm going to get out my chipped sapphire. Hear the scrunching of the card? Oh, that embossing. I think I'll put some right there. It's wonderful. Okay, then I'm going to grab the green. And 
this is the mold lawn just to give it some popped color here and then I am going to take the marmalade do that crunchy at the love that and then I will take some of the red for the center and come on where's my red There we are. Love it. So you have a mixture of everything there. So let's get that on our card and let's get to work here. Let's move this out. I want my space here. And how much time do I have? Yikes, two minutes. Okay. There we are. There we go. Just this looks really nice in real life. In the real life thing. Looks good. Okay, let's get our card base. And how are we gonna do this this way, I guess? So we will cut out the bottom. So let's cut some of the side out here. I want to keep the edges. This is thick, so. Oh, my crazy thing got stuck in there. Okay. So let's see. How are we doing here? Which way are we going to put this on there? I like the purple and I like that green. Yikes. I'll go like this. Okay. I'm going to keep this. And it looks good. It looks like a, a tie dye piece. There we go. All right. Let's go, Carol. That looks good. Let's grab some. One minute. Oh no. But you know what? I'm not going to hurry because I'll tell you why. I am um, going to jump right in and go into the next video. Oh, this is my, my one that's not working. Let's see if I can make this work. There we go. Okay. And if this video does not, uh, if this just stops working, I'm going right into part two. There we are. Get some of the corners off there. There we go. How much time do I have left? 14 seconds. I'll see you on part two.